is changing all the time, um, especially um, in, the, in the laboratories. Tonight, a major break in a 30-year-old cold case just as police were about to make an arrest for the murder of a 14-year-old girl that rocked the community back in the 1980s. One of the suspects found dead. And new at 6 o'clock, 10 News reporter Matt Mendez is joining us now with these latest details. Matt? Yeah, well, one of those suspects used to work at the San Diego Police Department's crime lab, but they're confident that he never tampered with any evidence regarding the murder of 14-year-old Claire Huff. Claire Huff was visiting her grandmother in Torrey Pines in 1984. One night, she snuck out of the house. The next morning, her body was found here on the sand of Torrey Pines State Beach. She had been beaten, strangled, and mutilated. For years, there were no leads, until November 2012, when San Diego police detectives received a DNA hit linking to two suspects. Technology is changing all the time, um, especially um, in, the, in the laboratories. And because of those significant changes, uh, we were able to make that connection. One of the suspects, Ronald Tatro, was killed in a boating accident in Tennessee in 2011. Police say he had a lengthy criminal past, which includes kidnapping. The other suspect, retired San Diego police crime lab worker Kevin Brown. He had worked for the department for 30 years, and the same time Huff was murdered. We don't believe at, at any time that he did anything um, in regard to this case or that any tampering at all took place. Police began questioning Brown two years ago. As they were close to making an arrest on Tuesday, they say he ended his own life. Police aren't revealing what relationship Brown and Tatro had, if any. They believe the killing was a random act, a case that's gone unsolved for decades, now closed. Detectives say they notified Huff's family. Still a difficult phone call to make even after, after, after 30 years, and um, I'm sure they live with the memory of Claire every single day. Right now, 10 News has a crew talking to Brown's widow. We'll tell you what she believes may have linked him to the case. That's coming up tonight at 11. Matt Mendes, 10 News.